How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan, and today we're taking over the plains. Now, last time we beat Modder the Dragon over in the uh, mountain biome and unlocked the plains biome. Well, I didn't really unlock it, but like, you know, we have to go into it. So I've kind of done a little bit of exploration. I also found Hildir. Oh, oh. Yeah, Hildir. I think Haldor's sister or something. Oh, I don't know. I found her as well. But I did a little bit of exploration, found a really nice plains area. And right here, I'm going to build our future base. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Usually, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put down like one thing and then just build from that and that's it. What I kind of want to do is do something a little bit more modular. So let me go over and show you. As I said, I've already done a little bit of exploration just to find the main location. The reason I picked this is because there's a ton of goblin villages around this island and like tarpies and stuff like that and loxes. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn this place here into my future base. And I'm going to start, well, not future base, but like, you know, like an outpost, but it's a bit more than an outpost. It's like, you know, something really good. Uh, and I'm going to start it by building a keep. Now, the reason I'm going to do it like that is that I'm going to, you know, do a keep, a dock, workshop, blacksmith kind of area, maybe a smelting area, farmland, and then that's it. But it's all going to be kind of modular interconnected with trench networks. So it's going to become essentially impenetrable. That's the theory or the logic in my head, but I'm going to turn that spot into, you know, our future home for this biome. And the problem that we have straight away is that there are locals who won't be happy about me moving in. So I'm going to go deal with them first and then I might have to deal with the Loxes. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully it doesn't end tragically, but... I don't know. We'll see. All right. Can I hit one and not like rat all the others? I wonder. Oh, I killed him. Take out that shaman. Oh, oh! It's the Deskados that scare me more than anything. They have penetration. Oh. Yeah, I may have shoot off more than I uh, intended there. Oh. Three? Really? Ow. Ow. Guys, surely we can talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get in the water, get in the water. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh dear. Only really one star, are you serious? Oh, the one star is the one with the torch. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Whoa! What? Oh, 
All right, all right. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. All right, I'm gonna loot the village and then destroy everything in a hope that they won't spawn back here because that would be problematic if they sp if they spawn while I'm building. I just get jumped by 50 goblins. Oh, I can also grab a totem. Nice. All right. All right, I'm going to loot everything and then clear it all out and then we'll be able to start building. Sweet. All right. Now that I have dealt with the local pop. Oh, does that sound bad me saying that? Now that I've dealt with the goblin camp, uh, hopefully they shouldn't spawn back. Uh, so now I can actually move on with the build itself, which should be interesting. Like I mentioned, it's going to be a bit more modular. Uh, I'll start off with the keep itself. No, it's not going to be massive. It's just, it's just going to be enough for uh, the central. It's like the central hub. So I'll do that like about here kind of area. So first thing I'll do is level the ground. Place down the stone walls so I know exactly where, you know, I want to build it. And then I'll probably raise up the ground a little bit as well. So I'm going to get that started. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to empty out my inventory, repair my stuff, and then get started on that. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, I'm a little nervous because there's, you know, some locks is kind of nearby, but uh, I'm just going to go about my day. Oh. I don't know what they're charging after. Anyway, I'm going to go about my day. Uh, this is basically where I'm going to start it. So this here will be where the keep will be. So to put down a marker. Should I level it? I should probably level this, some of this first. All right, so that's where it starts uh, and it'll be there. And we'll continue in that direction. And I'm gonna go for this height. All right, so basically what I've done here is I've created the outline wall for where the actual keep will go. So inside there'll be a very small courtyard with a gate here. And then everything else here will just be covered, which you guys will know because you know you saw it at the beginning. But what this now allows me to do is that I can now dig down around, dig down around the outside of this, which will be the trench. And then I can raise the ground up where the actual keep will be to then it's dug down, it's raised up, anything that goes in won't be able to hit the walls. Boom, indestructible castle. That's how we're going to do it. All right. First thing I'm going to do is actually mark out where the towers will be on each corner and the gatehouse. Gatehouses, actually. Um, no, just gatehouse. Uh, so I'll mark that out and then I'll start digging around the perimeter. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to do that. What did I say I was going to do? Oh, I was marking out the, um, I what I was actually, uh, originally intending to do. I don't know how big I want the hours. That's the problem. I don't want the massive. Yeah, I feel like that's a good size. Two out. All right. I'll just copy that on all the other sides. Ah. All right, I'll copy this layout on all the other sides and then start working on the actual trench itself. If you, much like this Lox does, loves my builds, or in particular, build videos, join the Discord. I've created a Discord for all of us. Links in the description below. 
I don't know what to do with this. What do I do with it? Hey, go away. I'm just gonna have to kill him. Voice. I'm just gonna have to kill him. <clears throat> Am I just gonna have to kill him? There we go. I think I'm just gonna have to kill him. All right. That was really annoying. Yay. There you go. All right, we've got towers laid out for each corner. Just making sure that locks isn't stepping to me. Uh, anyway, sorry, I won't say that again. Um, all right, towers laid out. So now I'm going to dig the trench around the entire structure. Oh, this guy, it's a pretty straightforward build. Like, anyway, this isn't very complex. Anyone could really do this. It's what will carry on from this. It'll be a lot more complex. So, so I, I just, yeah, I'm going to have to get digging. So, fun. All right, we now have a, well, I mean, not really a trench. It's kind of a moat. Well, it's a trench in some spots, but everything's been dug out now. So that's the gap between. So now what I'm going to do is raise the ground all here where the walls are inside, where the wall, the tower and stuff like that to the height that I'm standing at right now. And then I'm going to build the castle on top of that so that you know, anything big that comes down shouldn't be able to hit the actual base of the fort, like the base of the keep. So, yeah, I'll do that. Actually, you know what? Do I test? No, I'm not going to test it out. I was just about to shoot that locks, but then I got a lock stuck in here for while I'm building. And if I fall in, I'm a dead man. All right, I'm going to raise this and then, yeah, we'll get started. So I'll do that and then No, how's this going to work? Like that? Does that work? Yeah, I think that works. So, right, that's the height that I'm going for. That's how it's going to look. Yep. All right, it's uh, it's slow going, but we're making progress. Where's that single block? Is it still there? There it is, though. Oh. Yeah, it's coming along. Like, it's coming along. It'll look good when it's, like, you know, all the way up. I think I'm close to halfway now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks crazy high. That'd be good. All right, I shall carry... What the hell did I hear? Oh, a little... Can I snipe him? See if I can snipe him. Oh, I missed. Got him. No survivors. All right. Uh, on I carry on. Yay. I'm almost done. I'm actually making really good progress. It's gone a lot smoother than I thought it would. Actually, wasn't that painful. The only problem is because I've raised it, I can't get in it. I'm gonna have to put a a ladder in between. Oh, I can actually, I can still get, oop, I can still get through there, actually. That's where the gate's going to go. Because I've just been jumping and then, like, climbing up. 
All right. Uh, I might put a ladder in just temporarily and I'm going to fill all this in and then good to go on actually like finishing the keep. It's actually not that far. It may look like I'm pretty far away from finishing it, but it's actually not that far away from uh, finishing it, which is good. I think that's everything. Yeah. So in here, it's going to be all dirt everywhere. So I just need to put it down, see where the dirt is, tidy it up, and then as I go. But it'll all be, uh, sorry blocks through here to fill it in yeah be good all right i need to get some more stone repair and then fill all this in with these stone blocks and then start working on the walls we moving we cooking we it's not too bad i mean literally i'm Placing the platforms. And then hitting the dirt just to like make a divot in a certain spot so that you can't see anything. And then block goes down onto the next row. That's not too bad. There we go. That's two rows. I just got to do the center line now. And I'm on the home stretch after that. Looks good. Now this won't be the entire keep. The keep will start like, you know, here kind of thing. And then this is like a mini courtyard. But yeah, it's not bad. That's kind of like where the, oh, where the keep will go here. Yeah, it's good. Happy with that. All right, now I'm going to raise the walls around the outside, put in gates so that I know how high I need to get it. Finish the wall and then I'll just, and then I'll do the keep pretty quick. It's not going to take that long. So yeah, not bad. Keep trucking along. Oh, I had an idea as well. Rather than, because usually I do like bonfires out here rather than a bonfire. Maybe I do like fireplace that look cool I feel like it would two fireplaces I reckon that'll look cool maybe I don't know it's what I'm doing it's what I'm gonna do anyway all right get a repair eat get more stone keep going but it's like the progress is coming actually I'm gonna check from uh, the tower jeez yeah, that looks cool. It's gonna look sick when it's finished. Oh, there's a depressed little goblin just chilling. Oh, I just. Ah, oh, pretty good deal with him. Anyway, I'm gonna get some stone and I will check back in with you in a bit. Come here, man. Hey. All right, so we've got it up to the level that I want it. Now I just need to do up the tower and over the gate section and then put in the little like, I don't know, like, I don't know what you call, I don't know what you call it, but like the individual little pillars, walls and tower done. Then just finish off this and done, like easy build. 
Just the landscaping was the long part. So, all right. I repair my hammer, get more stone, and finish it. That gate looks cool. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, and now. Oh, that's the heights that I want for everything. So I'll do the the overhang trim. Put the uh, individual, you know, blocks in. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. Parapets? Yeah, parapet. Ah, sick. I got the name right. All right, so I'll do the extensions on the sides and then put in the stone parapets. And then the actual keep, well, well like the housing section and then done. It's just like the actual building part is heaps quick. It's just the, yeah, just the terraforming is the slow part. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Actually, it looks really clean. I don't know if I'm going to do anything on the... Out oh! Bro, tried to assassinate me. Anyway. Don't know if I'll do any... I don't know if I'll if I'll do anything on the outside. I might, I might not. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, anyway, it looks yeah, it looks good. Yeah, you know what I am. I am. I'm gonna do a, a couple of arch points just to add like strength points, and then that's it. But nothing exciting. All right, I'm gonna do that and then work on the actual keep itself. Then I can put in, you know, all the other things that I want and done. More we'll sweet. So be good. And because it's modular, what I've done at the front, I can literally mimic that at the sides or the back or whatever, depending on where things will go. There's actually a good, like it's a pretty good castle keep design in my opinion. So if I... Two fire pits on the side. And then this will be a two-story keep. So... Yeah, look good. Cool. I'm going to get stuck into it. Oh, I didn't do anything crazy. Just kind of put arches down and blocks and stuff like that. So. Oh. Oh, these Desquitos, man. They leave me alone until I actually come out to do something. Oh, sorry, come out to have a look at it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, nothing crazy, and I'm not gonna do anything like mental. I think that I think this will just kind of be it. I don't want anything crazier. But yeah, happy with that. Looks good. Actually, 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 think it looks good. Oh, it's, oh my god, in its simplicity. It looks good. Damn Desquitos. Alright. I'm going to do this section in here. And then roof it. And then I'm done. <laughs> like it's it's I'm close. I'm very close to finishing it, so I'll go ahead and get that done. And check in with you as I go. Yeah, it's coming along nice. Happy with that. There we go. It's a bit of a busy... Uh... Oh, if I get down, I can't get... Oh, that's fun. It's a bit of a busy... Uh... Ground floor. <laughs> Which I'm not a huge fan of. No, I don't like it. I'm going to change it. And I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Check back in in a moment. Yeah. And... There. 
like I said, I had a much better idea. I look personally. I personally, I think that looks a lot better. Personally, I reckon this looks like way better. Fireplace, dome floor, and then the staircase up to what will eventually lead to a chimney at the top. I reckon this looks way better. Way better. All right. I'm going to finish the walls and then once the walls are done, I'll do the roof. And then I'm pretty much, yeah, pretty much done. Just tidy up like the inside and then I'm pretty much, pretty much done. Fuck it. Good. It's fun. Hey, it's nice. All right, keep going. Let's, let's keep going. All right, it's coming along. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Still want to do some stuff at the front here. Oh, all the stuff falling down from the roof that I was working on. But yeah, this would be like the main hub. This is like, you know, the room essentially where like a bed will be in this, well, and a, and a portal and that'll be a bit about it pretty much, but that's a nice roof. You gotta admit, that's a nice roof. There's a couple more things that I want to do. Uh, in particular... Nope, oh, not that. This. There you go. That is a nice roof. Got the windows in. The windows look sick. Might put in a couple more windows here. But that's cool. This is a good build. This is a sick build. And the fact that I can expand on it is even better. Also, I, I, I don't know if it stopped the, the goblins from spawning. There's only one that spawns every now and then. That's about it. So I don't actually know if it stops from spawning. But it's good because what allows, like what this allows for me is that, you know, later on I'll be able to extend out that way to, you know, whatever the future build over there will be, which will probably be the dock. Maybe like a farm over that way or a workshop over there. or I don't know, like whichever way I want to go with it. But it's cool. It's sick. I just got to finish like, you know, prettying it up and it's done. Like it's real close. So finish prettying it up and then I'll check back in with you. What the? Ha, <laughs> they can't. Hey. Go on, fall in. Oh, he's running for the hills. Ah, oh, I got two goblin stocks. So that's cool. <laughs> oh. Why well, do I think they can really get me? Yeah, it's a good test. There we go. There you go. Last in contact. Something drowning? No. But sweet. I honestly don't have to worry about anything because nothing can get up here. That is perfect. This is genuinely the, the perfect base. Because nothing can get to me up here. Sweet. <laughs> I 
That's awesome. Nah, this is... This is definitely a sick build. I keep saying it every time I do one, but like, this might be my new new number one. I also, I also fell off my viewing platform for low health, but this is sick. This is such a cool... Like, this is a sick build. This is awesome. And nothing can get to it as well, which is even better. Like, I've been raided. I've had, like, loads of stuff try and get me. A bunch of goblins try and get to me. Nothing. Need to sort out, like, a better solution for the front door. But, I mean, that, that's fine for now. But look at this. Nice and cozy on the inside. And see, here's the thing. Like, just mentally image it as well. The dock will be through there so here will be another gate like this that will lead out through the wall and then out onto um like the next module where the dock will be and then you know farm blacksmith warehouse kind of thing like it's just it's just all going to be in interconnected like look at how cozy this is tell me this isn't cozy compact little repair section for now Tell me this isn't cozy. Like, this is such a good build. I actually love this build. It's sick. Ended up being, like, a bit more effort and a bit more than I originally intended, but... It's awesome. And nothing can get me. Anything shoots me? Not even phased. Yeah, this is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to end it right there. Next time, I will probably build the farm so I can start planting barley, flax, and I think cloudberry. I think I can plant cloudberries as well. I'll probably build that out that section there so it'll extend out, out to, this, uh, to the back. So that's probably where it'll go there just because it's an easier section to build it. And then after that, I'll do the dock down to there. But yeah, that's awesome. If you are still watching, thank you very much for hanging around till the very end. You know, hit subscribe if you want to. If not, it's all good. It's entirely up to you. Um, join the Discord, though. 100% recommend everyone join the Discord. Uh, I want to be able to see some of the builds that you guys are doing. I read the comments that some of you guys post about some of the builds that you do, and they sound awesome. So, I'd, you know, I'd love to see some screenshots of uh, the builds that you guys post. But, yeah, join the Discord. Come hang out. Be awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.